This is the solution to written homework five. Find and classify all local extrema by constructing a slope chart. So the first step is to consider the natural domain. The natural domain is all reals because the function given is a polynomial and that's the natural domain of polynomials. So the next step is to find the critical numbers so that is to say places where the derivative is undefined or zero so the derivative of f is x squared minus 12x plus 32. So we need to check the domain of the derivative. If the domain of the derivative had changed from the natural domain of the original function, that would mean that we would have a non-smooth critical point. But it's still a polynomial, so there's no change. And now we need to find the stationary points, which is to say we need to solve the derivative equal to 0. So in order to do that, we'll factor the derivative. So two numbers whose product is 32 and whose sum is negative 12. How about um, x minus 4? and x minus 8. So the derivative is equal to 0 exactly when uh, x is 4 or x is 8. So now we're going to make the slope chart. and what gets plotted on the slope chart is you have several opportunities to find things. So from here, we found nothing. We found no breaks in the natural domain. And from here, in this category, we again found nothing. So there's nothing to report from that check. And then here, we found two fence posts. So both of them must be plotted. So this is 4, and this is 8. So now we need to select points in each region. So how about 3, 5, and 9? And now we need to evaluate the derivative at each test point. So the derivative <coughs> evaluated at uh, 3. So we're going to evaluate uh, the, deri the derivative at each one of these points. So at 3, I can see that it's negative. 3 minus 4 is negative. And then 3 minus 8 is again negative. In the middle region, I can see 5 minus 4 is positive, and then 5 minus 8 is negative. And then in the right region, 9, 9 minus 4 is positive, and 9 minus 8 is positive. <clears throat> so the overall slope, the overall sign here is positive, so that's positive slope. The overall sign here is negative, so that's negative slope. The overall sign here is positive, so that's positive slope. <clears throat> and so now we can make our conclusions. So 4 
x equal to 4 is a local maximum. And x equal to 8 is a local minimum. And there are no other local extrema. And that's the answer to the exercise.